what can happen to your skin at the end of life. So you have to remember, your skin is an organ too. So if the rest of your body is shutting down, so is your skin. And we need the rest of our body to be working for our skin to be looking like it should. Just left a patient's house who had a classic Kennedy ulcer. Kennedy ulcers are sometimes seen at the end of life, especially with any patient who is not eating, fully bed bound, uh, like, like Alzheimer's patients, dementia patients, uh, Parkinson's patients, end of life Parkinson's. Trigger warning, here are some pictures of what this looks like. So if you don't wanna see this, don't look right now. This is what a Kennedy ulcer can look like. Again, I am talking specifically people who are end of life, usually actively dying. These can start popping up all over their skin. Here's another version that's open now. And remember, just because you're seeing these does not necessarily mean neglect or someone is doing something wrong. These can pop up like overnight. They usually will start looking like this first and then they can open up. On hospice, we are not looking to heal these wounds because that's very unlikely due to nutritional status and the patient just being end of life and the whole body shutting down. So we just turn the patient as much as possible, keep them clean, safe, and comfortable. So if we are gonna be doing wound changes, which we still should be doing, we need to make sure we medicate so we're not hurting that person. Again, someone could be taking care of someone pristinely and those things can still pop up. Doesn't happen to everyone, but it can happen. So that is the classic Kennedy ulcer that people always talk about.